So before we build in even more impressive types of interactivity, let's see how we're doing. Let's move this over to Flash. I'm going to preview the thing by clicking on the preview icon in the bottom of the window. Now what's happening here is everything that we've designed today, all of the images and all of the things like hanging characters, design grids, Japanese text, that's all being converted over to the Flash file format. And what's going to happen is it's going to open up inside the Adobe Flash Player and we can see how it's looking. We can check our progress as we work. Now, we're going to do build in more complicated interactivity, but let's just take a look at just how we're doing so far. I'm in the full screen mode of Adobe Flash Player. I'll shrink that down to the window mode. Um, I could also have shown you it in a browser. So here's the document. It was, was print, now it's Flash. And I can navigate around using the cursor keys that's built in. And I can see the pages and see all the uh, stuff, the icon I designed, the Japanese text, everything looking good, everything looking good. So let's build in and see if the interactivity worked. I click on the button I created, and it should take me to page six with that zooming effect. Let's see. I click on that thing. You'll see I've got that uh, mouse over effect when I'm holding the button down. I'll release the button, and let's see what happens. There we are, move to page six. That's easy. I'm ready for some more. Let's create some multimedia and bring in some videos.